go to Senator Bill Cassidy right now, beautiful state of Louisiana. Senator, what's odd is I know there's been a back and forth about a security measure, the likes of which was supposed to make its way to the House so they could read that, what's in that. It's been delayed. And you hear from many of your House colleagues on the Republican side, uh, yet another reason to be leery. What do you tell them? Yeah, if there's ever a reason that you need a border bill that will absolutely cut the number of people coming here illegally, that which happened in New York is, is, is example is the latest example, number one. And, and I would just ask, I've been briefed on it, like, don't make a decision before you read the bill. We always say don't vote for it before you read the bill. Don't make a decision against it because this bill would help prevent what just happened in New York from ever happening again. You know, um, House Minority Whip Tom Emmer was with me earlier this week, Senator. Uh, he, he didn't share your, your view. I, I just want you to respond to this. If you're giving the president uh, additional uh, parole authority to admit up to 50,000 more people a year, if you're uh, doing the uh, 5,000 plus one on the border over a certain period of time and giving them discretion, if you're not ending catch and release, if you're not uh, uh, restoring remain in Mexico, I'm going to have a very difficult time getting the votes that are necessary, even if it comes to the floor. All right, now, to be fair, Senator, as you just pointed out, we don't know. Uh, again, uh, this has been delayed, releasing this to the public, let alone to, to your colleagues uh, uh, elsewhere. But what do you make of what he's saying? Any of those provisions in there, it's dead on arrival with him and apparently dead on arrival in the House. Yeah, so let's just look at it this way. If we don't pass this bill, there may be as many as one to two million more illegals that come across the border this next year, between now and the next election. Think about that. If we don't pass this bill, there may be one to two million more people who come illegally. If we get more than 5,000 people from the Pacific Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico who come in one day, the whole border shuts down for two weeks at least two weeks and potentially even longer, shuts down. No one can come across. And if they come across, they are immediately put across the border into Mexico. Now, this doesn't happen if Biden says, oh, let me think about it, I'll do it. It happens automatically. What happened in New but, York but tells us But doesn't the president have to, have to make good on it, Senator? In other words, if he says, no, I'm gonna shut the border down, the way it happens brief, automatically, it happens no matter what he says or does. Well, go ahead. Yeah, if he, if he comes, if you get over 5,000, boom. It clicks, and for two weeks at least. But at 5,000, that's still down. a lot of people, right? 1,000 a day was a big deal for Jay Johnson when he was Barack Obama's Homeland Security Secretary. This is five times that, and that's a minimum. In it, which it should only be zero. Right, but I if guess. you have 12,000 people a day coming across right now on December, 12,000 a day. The, on December the 1st, when you had over 5,000, the whole border would have shut down for at least two weeks. Uh, until it was totally under control. So let's assume it takes a week to get under control. So then you're going to shut it down for two weeks after that. Doesn't happen with Biden saying, oh, let me think about it. It right. happens automatically. Now, instead of having, what, 30, 30 uh, times uh, 12,000 come across in December, we would have had like maybe 30,000 cross instead of all right, so Instead your point is it might still be a lot, but it's not nearly as much as we're seeing. We'll see when this all gets to the House and where this falls out. But, Senator, thank you for taking the time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Neil. All right.